Dev Talk 3 was just released today, 5-5, May 5th, and we're going to get into the designing of the superheroes for Marvel Rivals. Let's go. Hello, my dears. I am your favorite purple lady, Amethyst Lady, and we are back with another awesome video about Marvel Rivals. We're going to dive into Dev Talk 3, which the devs are giving us insight into how they wanted to design the superheroes that will be in the game. And this probably even provides insight into how consideration goes into future heroes that will be on Marvel Rivals. That's just a guess. I haven't read it. This is going to be really exciting, though. And I know a lot of people have ideas for different people from the Marvel Universe that they would love to see in this game. This is also evident from things, just character concepts being put in the Discord, the Marvel Rivals Discord on a regular basis. So I bet this information is really, really interesting for those people and all sorts of people who just want to get into the heads of the devs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start reading this dev talk, okay? All right, so Marvel Rivals is the ultimate superhero showdown, but creating these larger than life superheroes and villains has no small feat. We're talking about characters with more powers of all sorts, from Spider-Man's web-slinging antics to the Hulk's, well, you know what the Hulk does. Each of these characters come with a laundry list of powers, personality quirks, and 85 years of backstory, especially if you're no more. Our challenge? To distill all that Marvel magic into playable characters that not only do justice to the originals, but also deliver heart-pounding, joy-inducing gameplay that'll leave our players wanting more. So pretty much take all of that information, condense it down into a translation that works for Marvel Rivals as a character you will want to play. All right, next. So how do we turn these beloved icons into virtual powerhouses? It's not an exact science. We start by diving deep into each superhero's lore and distilling their core essence. Then we ask ourselves, how can we push them while adding a dash of gameplay pizzazz? After that, we blend until we get something that just feels right. Then comes the fun part, finding their perfect fit among our classes, Vanguard, Duelist, and Strategist. So those are the three names of the classes, Strategist, Duelist, and Vanguard, or Cake. If you know, you know. But anyway, <laughs> pouring into their abilities, personality, nitty gritty mechanics, and style to create a concoction that stand out against all of their other iterations. It's a wild ride from brainstorming to testing and tweaking. Sometimes we even have to start over, but we're committed to giving you the most authentic Marvel experience possible, which is why feedback is going to be so important in this closed alpha test. Good constructive feedback. So let's continue. Let's take Loki, for instance. Very, very popular character, by the way. We kicked off his design, focusing on capturing his mischievous side. We asked ourselves, how do we push Loki to be the ultimate trickster outmaneuvering enemies on the battlefield with flair? So after some serious brainstorming, we figured, forget brute force, Loki's all about using brain power to help pals and outsmart baddies. Yeah, yeah, pretty much cunning all the way with his core essence in our back pocket we cook up a game plan for loki that's unlike anything else we're talking illusions surprise switcheroos battlefield vanishing acts and the best part shape-shifting into other characters to bamboozle everyone even fooling his own crew wait so does that mean when he transforms allies aren't even going to be able to know who he is that can be really chaotic but that's sort of what loki does too 
But anyway, when Loki goes incognito as a foe, not even the keenest eye can spot the difference. Sneaky, right? Yeah, we're just not going to be able to know. That's uh, pretty crazy. That's really crazy. Oh my goodness. The possibilities. Hmm. All right. Anyway, then there's Hela. As the Asgardian goddess of death, she's all about that deadly grace mixed with a heavy dose of aggression. Our big idea for Hela? Picture her as a ruthless and precise death goddess who's also a master of manipulating souls. We wanted every player who put on Hela's crown to feel that precise soul snatching power. Inspired by everything from the 2011 Fear Itself comic event, specifically New Mutants number 29 for you comic buffs, to more recent iterations, we armed Hela with a lethal lightning fast basic attack, the ability to transform into a storm of crows, ooh, and even more so that players could feel the power of this Asgardian menace. Those who meet their end at Hela's hand find their souls harvested enhancing her abilities. Her ultimate move is pure underworld grandeur. When she unleashes it, she becomes colossal, beefing up in health and dishing out even deadlier attacks, looming over the entire battlefield like, well, like a goddess of death. Oh, that all sounds really, really cool. This, see, this is fantastic. This is part of the reason we should pay attention to these these blogs that they're putting out because we have information about Hela here that we would not be able to get unless you're in that closed alpha test. So we have it before we're even in. This, this is awesome. Let's continue. They did provide some panels. So she's bursting into crows here or something. It's kind of crazy. Wow. All right. But it's not all rainbow bridges and cotton candy. We face challenges that would make even Thanos break a sweat. Balancing these powerhouses is like herding cats, <laughs> except these cats can shoot lasers from their chest. Our superheroes and villains are all about those jaw dropping moves. Picture the Hulk bounding across the city, storm gliding through the air, and Spider-Man zipping around town with those trusty webs. These powers are what make these characters so special. And of course, we want to serve up that same adrenaline in the game. But hey, let's be real. Marvel Rivals is a competitive shooter. We totally get it. Keeping the game fair and balanced is crucial. Nailing that sweet spot between power and gameplay has been one of our biggest ongoing challenges. We've got a pretty solid vision for our heroes and our goal is to stay true to these heroes. As we previously stated, in Marvel Rivals, shooting isn't about guns. We're not about to have Hulk lugging around a rifle, Black Panther toting a shotgun, or Iron Man scrapping it out solely on the ground. Diverse combat systems such as team-ups and adding a boatload of depth are what make this game special and fun. It's a whole new combat frontier and we're constantly fine tuning it to keep our hero lineup feeling fresh and fierce. It takes a lot to make sure that these unique fighting styles work together, but hey, we're up for the challenge. Also add into that the destructive environment because that's going to be a thing too. So it sounds like it's going to be this chaotic, dynamic, fun time, which is going to be awesome. So what's next? Well, we want you to dive into the chaos, sling some webs and smash some things, all while giving us the lowdown on what works and what could use a little more gamma radiation. Marvel Rivals is just getting started and we're counting on your feedback to keep it on the path to greatness. So suit up, dive in and let's make Marvel Rivals the hero shooter game of all our dreams. So once again, this is an excellent blog. Thank you so much devs for providing this transparency. Um, you know, this, this is wonderful. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I get into the closed alpha test and, um, you know, it's, it's, 
if I do get in and as long as it's not under NDA, I will be streaming it. I will be providing content. The first heroes I plan on trying is Scarlet Witch and Hela. Um, so I'm super excited about the Hela news. I'm just beyond myself because what a treat to be able to get that information before the alpha test. But uh, I will be trying everyone just so everyone can see uh, at least what I do with the characters um, and have another perspective on uh, what is liked about the characters, what's disliked, and you know, we'll have a whole bunch of fun too. So let me know what you think about um, these thoughts from the devs. Like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate you if you suck it out. Oh, by the way, if you have not already joined the Marvel Rivals Discord, please do so. I'm gonna post a link to this article in the pinned comment and you can find all of their social channels here. One is the Discord, definitely join. It's, it's a really fantastic place. The community is great. And hey, if you do join, let them know Amethyst Lady sent you, okay? Take care, my dears. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! Oh, 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 o